Good morning, and welcome to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is February 15th, and our reading is Maps Are Not the Terrain. The Dhamma is not what we know, it's what we do. It's not about checking boxes, memorizing, or quoting chapter and verse. We might study South America in an atlas, but it doesn't mean we know diddly squat about the Amazon basin. The suttas, the Bible, the Tao Te Ching, whatever we may turn to for guidance are maps, not the terrain. The pain, suffering, and wreckage of our past didn't come from theories in a book nor will abstractions release us from our delusions. The only results we get in our lives come from actions we take. The noble ones invite us to take the principles of their teaching and put them into practice. They ask us to experience it for ourselves. They can explain it to us, but they can't understand it for us. Let's put it another way. If you were judging a baking contest, would you award prizes based on the recipe, or would you taste the cake? That's our point. But don't take our word for it. Try it and see. Theories are all well and good, and, of course, we can all benefit by reading scriptures or, or spiritual books or, or watching videos and movies that have spiritual themes and listening to spiritual speakers. But we can listen to other people till, till our ears bleed buttermilk and it doesn't do anything for us until we change what we actually do. Ajahn Chah and other Thai forest tradition Buddhists have a reputation, maybe somewhat deserved reputation for being anti-scholastic, but it's not really that they're against learning. It's against, they are against people substituting learning for experience. The Buddha himself did not explain Nibbana in great detail, and some people, some lazy people, complain gee, you know, if he really knew it and he really knew how to get there, he'd give us a more detailed roadmap. No, he's a little slicker than that. He knew that people like me would try to check boxes and then we'd get huffy when when we didn't receive the the happiness, the peace, the serenity, the 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 fruits of of practice just by doing some studying. So these people point to the general principles. They point the way to the path leading to the practice, and they encourage us to practice. And And then they are wise enough to know that the only results we're going to get come from things we actually do. So they give us that encouragement, and it's our choice whether to participate or not. We can dance around the campfire and, and be around people that are doing stuff that they should be doing, or we could actually be one of the people who practice our practice. And this is going to be a theme throughout this book. So there's that. To repeat, we suggest you taste the cake. So thank you very much for coming back. It's good to see you. Thank you for subscribing and for your comments. Thank you for going to Amazon and getting the book. We really appreciate that too. And we hope to see you again very soon. And happy trails to you until we meet again.